Judy, Jerry Scalise is the Marlboro man, not the one riding horseback in those old ads. Scalise is half of the outfit duo that stole the 45 carat Marlboro diamond from a British jewelry store in 1980. He's never revealed what happened to the gemstone, but tonight is asking for mercy from a federal judge in Chicago so he can move to Arizona. The Marlboro secret still packed tightly away. It happened here in London 40 years ago at one of the city's top jewelry stores. Career Chicago mobster Joseph Jerome Jerry Scalise and his partner in crime, Art the Genius Rachel, walked into the store dressed as Arab sheiks and walked out with loads of gemstones, including this one, the near million dollar Marlboro Diamond. While the mob's jewel crime of the century didn't end well for Scalise and Rachel, they were arrested here at O'Hare Airport returning from London. The diamond has never been found. Both men did time for that crime in the UK and were recently freed from federal prison in the US after serving sentences for other unrelated burglaries. Now 82-year-old Scalise is asking a judge here to excuse him from the final component of his sentence from a 2010 armored car scheme. He wants the last six months of court supervision lopped off his term so he can move to Arizona with a woman he now lives with in the suburbs. I think there comes a time in everyone's life when they want to retire and move somewhere warm and I think that time is now for Mr. Scalise. But unless Scalise can have his parole terminated early, his friend is hesitant to have him move into her new home in Arizona. She doesn't want the United States Probation Office coming out with their bulletproof vests and their guns, spot checking her house. What'd you do with that diamond? Spent the money a long time ago. Scalise's cohort has always been coy about the diamond, and tonight Scalise's attorney says he's never talked about it, but that his client couldn't have the gemstone. As far as I'm concerned, if he had it, he wouldn't be living off of Social Security benefits. Scalise's attorney added that even if he had been told what happened to the diamond, he wouldn't be telling us. Mobologists suggest that perhaps federal prosecutors could bargain with Mr. Scalise what he wants now in exchange for 40-year-old information on what happened to that diamond. No word yet from the U.S. attorney on how he sees Scalise's request for an early out. Alan? Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.